Guten Morgen to the people of the earth. Although it's not morning in half of the country, the world. But who cares? I have been keeping getting, like, I, I've kept getting Yahoo updates on coronavirus updates, like, every day. I don't know if you guys have as well. And I don't know, I didn't know how to get rid of them. I kept getting them every day, and it's about Trump said this and the US, well, I don't care. <laughs> um, and it, it's not a mail, it's just like a notification that I get until I finally found a way to stop these notifications. Stop the propaganda! Stop the press! I I just wanted to share that with you in case you were wondering if that was possible. The, the, the wind is uh, settling now. And of course while I'm saying this there are just like a small gust saying No we ain't! Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Oh, that's one old bus. <gasps> Charming. So, yeah, it is a bit cold up here. Um, since I've been here for quite some time, and uh, I'm not much of a person who likes to do tourist stuff. Uh, like what you call regular tourist stuff. I um, I got to a point where I decided to change my mind and do some touristy things. So So, 90, 90 cents for dessert and breakfast. Not bad. and breakfast essentials. Savory, savory pie with um, spinach. Mm. When do you ever see that coming? And it happens every time. Mm. Serbian breakfast. Tourist style. No need to go all brainy smart. Well, actually, people eat. Really? Is this good? I'm sure people dip the pie in something because it's a little bit dry. But otherwise, a breakfast I highly recommend. Although my favorite is this. Oh, goat curd. Oh. Mm. What bitch I am now. So I spent one day doing touristy things here in Belgrade. 
because we can now. The tourist vendors have opened their booths, not all of them, obviously, but some. So I can go out and find magnets and balloons and corona masks with uh, the tricolore, which I'm never going to buy. I'll only buy it if it has the the the, the eagle on in, in the front, because otherwise, you know, go back to Finland and Finnish people are gonna go like, miksi sulla on toi ryssän lippu naamas? <laughs> So I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> yes, tää on tämmönen kahden euron mäkkärin pilli, johon on liitetty tämmönen Serbian lippu. Kaksi euroa suurin piirtein. Give or take. Sanotaanko, että nämä varmaan maksaa 3-4 euroa sit kun näistä turistisesonkin iskee ihan täydellä. Siihen nyt on varmaan jonkin aikaa vielä. Katota. It's around five o'clock. I came back now because it looks as if it does look as if though the clouds are gonna start raining and yep that's that that's a raindrop fellas and ladies that's a raindrop time for lunch so I got myself some Serbian goodies I got myself some meat and vegetables and some chicken with sesame and I'm gonna eat a salad with that and have some Turkish wine yeah that's a haistaka paska to people who are correcting me on my wines all the time because I'm not astute enough to check what's actually written on the labels nevertheless this one's gonna be good, I think so. This color looks very dark here, but it is. Look at that. It's really light. It's like lingonberry juice, cranberry juice. But it's not, it's a, it is wine, in fact. This reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to buy our food from the central kitchen. I'm living in a house with a central kitchen which was a socialist thing back in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Tastes about the same. Which meant that... Sesame chicken. Which meant that um, you didn't necessarily always have the time to cook for your family and so on. So, uh, uh, because everybody worked. So you'd have a central kitchen where you can buy today's food. Mm. This is very good. The name of the lady in the central kitchen was Lisa. I do believe she's dead by now, but um, she was cool. I remember her fondly from my childhood days. I actually went ahead and grated some, um, put in some lemon zest. Something a little extra. It's very good. The sesame chicken, I'm really, mm, I'm really digging this. The meat with the vegetables, it's also nice. This doesn't cost that much. Mm, this is about this is more than 200 grams for 330 dinars which is about 3 euros less actually <clears throat> 290, 280 and the sesame chicken was also about <clears throat> 250 grams for 320 dinars And then the uh, chocolate and vanilla pastries. Try vanilla first. 
Look at that. Look at that coming up. Mm. <laughs> mm. Eating like a five-year-old. I have to say I like the vanilla more. <clears throat> I have to say I like the vanilla more. The chocolatey tastes a little bit more like Nutella, and I'm not a big fan of Nutella. Uh, but um, the thing with these little sweet thingies is that they're not too sweet. They would go great with a coffee, and um, sort of as a, as a midday snack after lunch. Like I said, not too sweet. And not too big either. It's a good size. I recommend.